Hello, and thank you for tuning in to a pod of Born to be a star. A star is what you are, and if you recognize your star power, then there's simply nothing you can't do. Life likes to tell you all the things you can't do, what you can't accomplish. Maybe not even just life, maybe just your situation is relaying to you what you can't do and what you can't accomplish. But I'm here to tell you, ignore all of that and know that you can do anything you put your mind to. That's what I'm here for. So let me get to that. Why not decide you want to go to school and learn something that's maybe not what everybody else is doing? Why not want to pursue a career in something you actually like to do? Why not disregard things that irritate you? Who said you have to be on social media all the time? Who says you always need somebody to like something you're doing? Why do you need to do any of that? I mean, it's not a requirement for life, is it? I don't think it is. You need to look in the mirror and recognize who you are and love who you are. You have to love where you came from, where you're going, and what you're doing. And and all of that is a, it's kind of a circle, you know? It's kind of a 360. And I'd like to think that at some point, you know, at some point, things will all add up the way you need them to and or want them. So don't get stuck in you want something to be one way and it's not working or you want something to be another way and it's not working. You don't have to necessarily feel like that. And and I, and I don't want you to. You know, that's not positive for yourself. So, it's Tuesday and Monday's over and I know we're all like, oh my God, can it be Friday already? But you know, every day should be a happy day. So happy Tuesday, wherever you are, whatever time it is. You know, it's different times in different parts of the world. So in Canada, it's one time and United States, it's another time. And in England, it's another time. I think that's so cool that you know, regardless of whatever time you're listening to this podcast, we're all kind of listening to it together. So I think in some ways, uh, that's like a good thing. But I guess who knows about the other ways. Anyways, what was I saying? It is Tuesday and let's get to our favorite part of this podcast. No media allowed, no media allowed, no media allowed. They lie to us, they lie to us anyway. Can I just tell you that the guy that's in charge of Ukraine, uh, he's trying to make it seem like it's United States responsibility to continuously send over U.S. soldiers to help them. At what point do we call this a loss? Or at what point do we stop sacrificing our own people for Ukraine? Now, I'm not saying that because I don't like Ukraine. I'm saying that because what about us? What about Americans? What about America? Biden has put so much effort into saving Ukraine and being on Ukraine's side. I keep saying that in this podcast, no media lie. He's losing sight of America in this. And you can't lose sight of the country you represent and you don't represent Ukraine. The president of Ukraine shouldn't be suckering anyone in to giving money and people (coughs) to protect their country. And I know America is probably looking at this as a power grab uh, to try to knock off Russian, Russia or whatever. But at the same time, it's not really a power grab if America's soldiers, men and women, are dying for I don't know what. Because they could still be alive. Why are we sending our people to die? Like, listen to what I'm saying. Just like the shit that happened at 9-11, we're sending... Men and women that have families, moms, dads, cousins, sisters, brothers, uncles, aunts, nieces, nephews. These are people that have families. We're sending them to die. For fucking what? So you can say you help Ukraine? Honestly, at this fucking point, I'm getting tired of talking about Ukraine. I'll be on board with them. I'll be all pro-Ukraine. But at the same time of me being all pro-Ukraine, I got to sit here and wonder, like, what's the end game here? How much of Americans' time are you going to steal from us? You already make us pay too much fucking money in taxes. And you already fuck over the middle class person and the working class. By giving money to people 
that don't necessarily need it by forgetting communities of people, by just forgetting a whole bunch of shit that's unnecessary. And then you like to blame it on the weather. You are trying to blame inflation in the United States of America on Vladimir Putin. I'm sorry, um, I can't remember his fucking name. I'm sorry, Biden. Putin doesn't have anything to do with the problems in America. The reason why there's inflation in America is you gave way too much shit out during COVID, and these are the repercussions of that. Someone has to pay for it, and guess who it is? Tax papers. Guess who it is? People that need gas for their car. Guess who it is? People that need food at the grocery store. Guess who it is? People that are hungry. We're all paying for it. You're fuck-ups. And it's annoying, and I'm using cuss words. Sorry, it's aggravating. I don't like seeing articles where we're we're not helping people that are not white, but we're going out of our way to help Ukrainians that are, I don't know, white. Okay? You see my confusion there? We're not helping people. You're taking money away from Africa, but you want to dominate and give it to Ukraine. How the fuck does that work? Okay? America has told people from Haiti not to come here, but you're willingly supporting opening doors to Ukrainians. And I know the situation might be different, but you've sent, you've sent millions of people back to their deaths in their home country. So how the fuck does that work? And why did you allow all those people from Afghanistan to come to America? At what point can people ask you questions and you be honest about the answers? Because no one's being honest about shit. You're just constantly lying about things and making up whatever you want to because it it fits your narrative of lies. Fox News won't tell the truth. Clinton News Network won't tell the truth. MSNBC won't tell the truth. None of you fuckers on TV will tell the truth. There are no journalists anymore. I titled this shit called No Media Allowed because media is the problem. They are the forefront of the issue in the United States of America and the politicians own the media. So whatever the politicians want, they say. It's, a, it's an, an elite group of people that own what is being said in the narrative of the honest truth. The honest truth is, we probably shouldn't be in Ukraine like this. This is turning into Afghanistan 2.0 at this fucking point. What are we gaining from what we're doing in Ukraine? And why don't we do it in places that actually need help? I'm wondering why there's so many uh, dark people that are Caucasian and that are minorities and why they fucking suffer so much. And I'm asking that question seriously, right? I'm asking how the fuck are we giving millions, if not billions and trillions of dollars for fucking wars while there's millions of Americans outside with fucking signs that you're not fucking helping? I see people all the time with signs, they're hungry, they are homeless, they have problems and they need help and there's nobody here to help them. I live in the United States of America and there are a lot of people suffering here and it's not okay and I don't want to hear the president of Ukraine tell us that we have to suck it up. Fuck you for saying that and I almost guarantee you a million goddamn percent if America was in war with anywhere else, Ukraine wouldn't give a flying fuck about America, okay? There's a reason why Trump took the money away from Ukraine, okay? Think about that, right? There's a reason why Trump wasn't allowing all these people to come into this country. It's a reward to be able to come into this country. You just can't give that to everyone. There's a way for people to become residents of this country. And trying to shove them in across the border and do shit illegally because it makes you look good to like a small minority group of people that's not the way and i'm sorry but america can't be china america can't be cuba and america can't be all these other shitty countries nobody wants to live in i'm just gonna say it america is not canada there's too many people fucking live here okay america is not china people uh, like their rights and they don't want to give them up like i understand the government wants all this power and the government wants to compete with other countries but how the fuck are you competing with other countries when you're willingly giving away money to a country that probably doesn't need it like come on man stop lying stop making shit up and stop lying to the people of this country 
I represent America, red, white, and blue, all day, every day. The United States of America, the land of the free. I am the gift to this nation. Like so many others that work really fucking hard to make a life for ourselves. I went to college, bro. I put a lot of effort into that, right? Time, dedication, and myself into my education, not only for my bachelor's, but also for my master's. I, I invested a lot of time and thought and process into determining what I wanted to do as a career. And it's just so fucking frustrating that I am an American citizen born here, prop will likely die in this country. And the, this country is willingly giving away shit to people that don't deserve it. You can't do what you're doing and not get a reaction out of people. And I'm tired of people denying what the fuck they're doing. It's so annoying watching America burn like this, okay? I, I'm, I'm tired of it. I, I know everybody's like pro-Ukraine, pro-Ukraine. But honestly, what the fuck is going on in Ukraine? One day they got their own people fighting against them murdering their own people then they're talking about russia then they're making shit up about russia not a fact to ukraine and i keep having to hear from the fucking president of ukraine i don't want to fucking hear from him okay are you going to give us our money back ever are you ever going to replenish the funds that you've taken away from a country that shouldn't be giving you shit right but no one's ever going to give the money back because then they're going to claim america has too much money you see what the fuck i'm saying it's bullshit right it's bullshit reading articles where people want to keep pointing out what the president of Ukraine is saying and I also don't like reading articles that says the EU is not funding Africa because they want to give more money to Ukraine so black people can suffer and die and perish but you'll support white Ukrainians oh fucking K you see the problem with that do you see the problem with what I just said it it's not one for all it's one for some it can't be one for some, because that doesn't fucking work. People of all different races live in different places. So please don't act like it's white is right. That can't be the mindset. The mindset can't be you're, you're helping one group. And I'm really sick of the Democrats trying to act like black people can't figure out their lives and make it. But at the same fucking time, don't tell me about Ukrainians and you're turning Haitians away. Because they're black, okay? They are. Fuck off. In a big way. That's, that's what I have to say. Dear Democrats, when you lose your fucking power, because you're going, don't be sad about it. When you lose your power, don't be mad. Don't be upset. Don't be irritated. Don't be any of these fucking things. You deserve everything that's going to happen. It's going to be an awakening to fucking AOC and Biden and Nancy, I need to fucking retire close. And Chuck, I don't know what's going on, Schumer. And all these other morons that are supposed to be the representation of America, but they're too old to know what the fuck is going on, man. And they're not speaking for me about shit. I don't agree with anything that's happening in this country. Not a fucking thing. Not a fucking thing. And I want things to change for me, my children, my family. I don't want to be published, punished in this country because I have a job and I have an education. I also don't want to be punished in this country because I figured some shit out and someone else did it. And I also don't want to be punished in the country that I live in because you want to tell me a sob story about another country. I'm sorry about all the casualties in Ukraine. It's really fucking horrible that Putin's a psychotic maniac. Sorry, but you know who else is a psychotic maniac? The fucking politicians in the United States ripping us off with taxes and the federal government making up whatever the fuck they want and hiding whatever they're doing and no one ever has a great, good enough explanation to me about shit. They take my taxes, then they give people with kids $8,000 for tax returns and these fucking people don't work at jobs. Do you know how many questions I have about you attempting to rebuild communities but you're not actually rebuilding a community? You're just putting a pretty fucking bow on it and pretending that that's rebuilding something. To rebuild the community, you have to do something to the community. And to do something to the community, you have to restructure it. 
and you're not doing any of that. None of that is happening. Not where I live, not where anybody lives in the United States. I don't give a fuck about the rest of the country right now. Today, no many allowed version is about America and the problems here. Shit's rough right now. The stock market is a clear example of that. Red, 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 red. And you know what? Red, things that people are using every day. Target is doing horribly. Walmart, horribly. And those are stores that we're constantly going to. They're not doing that. You see what the fuck I'm saying? There's a big problem here. Nobody might want to admit it, but I will. If they don't get their act together and they don't fix things, they're in trouble. And I'm sorry, but I don't give a fuck about any other country but the one I live in right now. Because I pay taxes here and I'm a resident of this country. Give me a minute. 
Moving into the next part of our conversation, because I, I went real far just now. Loving soccer. I'm just so excited with Manchester City right now. Just, I mean, it was like the final game of the Championship League. And here they did. They did it again. They're just amazing, amazing, amazing. And I couldn't be more proud of them. So Sunday I got to watch them win. And it was just so rewarding to watch that. And as someone that loves soccer, love what soccer represents, the love of all nation, the love of everything that exists with it, I just, I, I hope they win again next year and hope they do good in whatever's next for them. And it's just so rewarding to see them live up to the potential that exists for them. Next part of the conversation, buying hats. How do you buy hats? I don't know, as a girl, like, I don't really buy hats like that. If it's for, like, a sports team, I just go into the store and figure out which one fits the most comfortably on me. I guess curly versus straight has a lot to do with whatever hat you pick. But I really don't know how that applies. So, I I don't know. I say go go with whatever makes you happy. Um, How to shop in a recession. Find things that make your life easier you're not looking for something that makes your life more difficult you're looking for things that make your life more easy there's that do birth signs matter i don't know when i was younger i had an aunt that was into like all that like birth sign crap and like pisces blah 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 blah. but i don't really think any of that has anything to do with anything i mean in some ways i guess it's important but i don't really feel like you gotta live or don't live your life based upon whatever sign you are i say i'd say don't don't focus on that that much um getting into new hobbies finding a hobby that of something that you like to do is so essential i found out that i really do like reading so i do that and it's great you know it's really great um, it's something I love to do, and uh, typically I read with my mom, but I have my own personal book that I read on my own as well. Next part of the conversation, outside of the fact that you can do any hobby that makes you happy. Back to the office. Is everybody back in the office now? How how does everybody feel about that? I like being around people. I feel like being stuck on Zoom all day and not being able to talk to people, sometimes people can figure that out and like it and others can't. I don't know if I'm a person that loves just being on Zoom. I kind of like the ability of being able to talk to people and be around them. So this weekend we watched a lot of episodes of A Practical Jokers. Joe is no longer going to be on the show. Their new season is coming out in June, so that's going to be exciting. 
propaganda commercials. I really don't like farmer commercials or any type of commercial that's showing one race versus another. It ties into what I was talking about earlier in the conversation about like politicians trying to act like black people can't be successful and they need more help than anyone. Almost every fucking commercial has black people in it. And it can't be that every commercial has black people in it. It's so insane. It doesn't make any logical sense to me. So I don't know. It's just my opinion. Uh, will there be a Batman 2? It looks like uh, there will be a Batman 2 at some time. Some point. Sometime. I really do think that um, that that Batman that just came out was really good. Especially since there hasn't been one in a while. And I really do think if you haven't seen it, you would definitely really like it. And now you don't have to go to a movie theater to see it so you can watch it at home, which is even better, right? Um, do we actually need Netflix anymore? I don't know, because there's, like, nothing on Netflix. Outside of Stranger Things coming to an end, Ozark already went off. What do they actually have left that's good, that we'll care about? I don't know. Guess you'll find out. I was considering, like, do I need Netflix? Should I just cancel my account? Like, are they providing me with anything that's actually good? And then there's Amazon, but, like, is there really anything good on Amazon that I need that I like? I don't know. These are questions I have, right? Like, hmm. Regular TV sucks, man. It does. There's nothing on regular TV. They have these really shitty actors and these crappy-ass storylines that take forever to get to the point, and it's just so annoying. And I'm not even going to go into a long spam on it. I'm just going to tell you, you have to have access to other things outside of just regular TV. You can't just do regular TV. Moving into food, Arby's is a delicious option. It's not a an expensive option. And you can go in there to eat or you can order it out. And it's really great. Five Guys is a great burger option. These are on the more expensive side of burgers. Um... What I talked about wall burgers yesterday, right? I mean, for for four wall burgers for eleven bucks, you're spending that on one burger at Five Guys. But I guess you are what you eat, so you're getting quality. So I don't know if there's anything wrong with that. Um, how far do we drive for fish? I guess far, depending on what we're getting. Are Bear Burgers good? Bear Burgers are good. They're very, they're very good. Um, I saw them at the grocery store last week, and we couldn't figure out where they were. But at some point, I definitely want to try some Bear Burgers, and I think they would definitely have an amazing taste to them. Um, beer is definitely an acquired taste, so if you're not used to it, I don't know if you like it. But I do think that it's something that you would like. Um, I wish there was a White Castle near me. But there isn't, so I'm stuck. Like, thank you. Thank you for nothing, man. Seriously, why? I think there's the closest one, and it's in, like, New Jersey. So outside of it being in New Jersey or somewhere in New York, there's no White Castle here. And I know every state has its own burger place, but why can't White Castle be, like, in some, like, southern part of the state I live in so I don't have to drive all the way over to two states to get to New Jersey to get that? Like, I don't get it. That's just me. Anyways, that, my friends, is the end of the podcast. Thank you for tuning in, as always, to Born to be a Star. Because you are a star wherever you are. And don't forget that. And sorry for the mishap earlier with me dropping my phone and recording yeah, the life of a podcaster, man. You got to do like five million things at once and it's never over. The life of a star. That's how it goes. I will talk to you guys later tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Happy Tuesday. Don't forget you're a star every, wherever you are. And don't forget the fact that you should be saying happy every day. Not just Monday, but Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Every day should be happy and you should enjoy it. Anyways, have a wonderful Tuesday. And I will see you tomorrow on Wednesday. Bye.